What is going on everyone? Eagle Man here today, back with another wax break, and today we're gonna to be opening up uh I don't know if this is a, a case. I don't know if it's called a case. An entire case of hanger boxes of 2020 Tops update. We have eight hanger boxes here, each with 67 cards. We got a lot of cards to be going through, so it's gonna be a longer video. So if you guys don't want to watch this entire break, I understand it's gonna be a long one. If you want to just see the bigger cards pulled in today's video, that's okay. Just go ahead and skip to the end of this video. We'll be doing a recap at the end. Uh, we're just going to be showing the bigger cards there. Anything cool that we might pull. So you won't miss anything if you skip to the end of the video for the last few minutes. But other than that, we are going to be ripping these all open. And if you want to see the live reactions of all of these boxes being opened, just uh, keep on watching. This should be a fun break. I opened up a few uh, six fat packs of 2020 Tops update. Uh, got some really good rookies. Didn't get a Randy Arizarania though, unfortunately. Wow, there's this is a lot of cards. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of cards. Um, so you're probably asking why hanger boxes and why 2020 Tops update. Well, um, update has always been a very successful set each year, and it always seems to go up in value. But uh, I know 2020 is a little different, but we'll see if that's the case for this year. Uh, and hanger boxes are usually the best bang for your buck uh, per card, and I'm a set collector, so I usually like to stick to hangers. So here are the odds. If you want to take a pause and take a look at that, as well as the no purchase necessary. Let's go ahead and get ripping. This is our first box. I like to open them up from the bottom. Some people do it differently. But, uh, of course, we completely butcher this first box here. Thank you all for tuning in, by the way. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about the video. We've got plenty more fun wax breaks to come. And let's just see what we get in this first hanger box here. All right. Nice big chunk of cards here. See what we got. Ian Miller. Ryan Weber. And we'll kind of go through these... Uh, these base cards kind of quick unless we see a cool rookie i'll set it aside here's kershaw greg allen pete alonzo and nothing too crazy i'll put the jeter aside that's kind of cool cesar hernandez that's kind of a cool one as an indians fan i like that card a lot and now we are into the hits and we get a blue are you kidding me hold up father's day blue out of 50 nice so a nice low numbered hold up like it's pretty tough to pull these i think let's just take a look at these odds again that's a father's day blue one in 131 boxes and we got one are you kidding me gosh you love to see it great first card <laughs> first big hit nice there's jim bunning tim Raines for the 85 design uh there's dale murphy who should be a hall of famer in my opinion uh, Frank Robinson, or so, excuse me, Brooks Robinson. I don't know why I said Frank Robinson there. Garrett Cole, Johnny Bench. I love the old school players. We got a nice Christian Pache. I'll put that one in a sleeve. That one's pretty cool. I really do like these prospect cards. In the last video, if you haven't seen that, we pulled some really nice Wander Francos uh, of this set. Nice 89 design. I like that a lot. And I think we're back onto the base cards here. Of course, we got to do the tops flip. They always flip these cards around and nothing too crazy just looking for the key rookies basically Ooh, devin williams there's a key rookie right there i'll sleeve that one up in a second joey Votto, tommy fam miggy acuna and then there's uh, aaron bummer okay let's go ahead and sleeve up this devin williams very nice that's a really good one that's one of the key rookies to get we'll go with the next box here Yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer video, but that's all right. If you guys want to have this video playing on in the background while you sort some cards, that's usually what I like to do when I watch longer YouTube breaks or live streams. Have it playing in the background while I sort some cards. That's usually pretty fun. I recommend that, especially with the video this long right here. And I'll try and make things fairly quick for you guys, though. Okay, see so what we got. Nolan Arenado. Mark McGuire. It's kind of a cool card. And let me know if I missed something, by the way. Uh, I didn't miss this one, though. Randy Arizarania, that's the card we were looking for. Let's go. Randy the Goat. Nice rookie there. Looks good, too. Love to see it. Finally got a Randy rookie. I've been hoping to get one. 
There's the Castro Gavin Lux rookie. Rookie debut, of course. There's a ton of rookie debuts in here. It's Bartolo, Domingo Santana. I think he was released by the Indians, actually. Fun player, though. Fun, fun guy. Um, okay, I don't think those are any short prints. There's a nice Derek Jeter. I'll put that aside. Uh, I don't think that's a short print either. Is it? Hold on a second. Let me check this Jeter short print. If it is a short print. I don't think it is. It, it, hold up. It might actually be a short print. I do believe it's a short print. If you look at those codes down there. So this top one is the short print, presumably. 631, 588, 588. I think we got ourselves a short print. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Derek Jeter short print. Presumably. Uh, I'll, I'll double check this one. But according to the codes down there, I think we got ourselves a short print. We're, we're about to dive into these inserts as well. So if we got ourselves a short print... That's two hanger boxes in a row that were not strikeouts. So we got uh, Ted Williams, numbers game. Really like the look of that insert. 85, Thurman Munson, CC Sabathia. I really like these turkey reds. You really like to see this turkey red, Bo Bichette. Rookie card. Awesome. Clean looking card right there. Shogwaki, I'm a big fan of him. I liked watching him. So I like that rookie card there. Mark Grace, Joey Bart. I love these prospect cards. Like That's so cool. Great names, too. Great young names. So nice Joey Bart there. And back on track with the base cards. Again, I'm going to fly through these a little bit quicker. Please, 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 viewers, keep your eyes peeled. If I miss anything crucial, Bobochette there. We'll take it. And Mariano Rivera. Jake Marisnik. Okay, cool. Nice big old stack of base cards over there. And I'm just going to be sleeving up the key cards as we go. Of course, we'll be putting them in top loaders, potentially one touches if we get a really, really big card. That, uh, that Father's Day Powder Blue parallel was pretty big, and I wish it was of a bigger name player. But that's still really cool. That's a tough, tough pull. So awesome we were able to hit something like that. That's fun stuff. Okay. Yeah, 2021's coming out with a new parallel, the 70th anniversary parallel, which is kind of cool. I'm excited to see what those are going to look like in person. Here we go with our next box here. There's Trent Grisham, rookie card. Okay, for a second I didn't see the rookie logo. I was like, he's definitely a rookie this year. Awesome, Trent Grisham rookie. So we got the key rookies, which is, which is cool. I'm just going to... Here we go. Not going to spoil the inserts just yet, but I do see a turkey red chrome over there. Jason Kipnis, Verlander. Uh, there's Jesus Luzardo. Kyle Lewis, rookie. Very nice. And anything in here? Nope. Okay, cool. Let's leave up this Kyle Lewis real quick, then we'll dive into the inserts of this third hanger box. All right. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Kevin Biggio for the Turkey Red Chrome. I know these Chrome cards are kind of tough. And I see some sort of foil card over there. Awesome. Ooh, of course, I just dropped it. Um, okay, just a regular rainbow foil, which these just look incredible. I think I said this in my last Tops update break for 2020. They Tops did just a phenomenal job with these. So I'm going to put a sleeve on that just because it looks really, really cool. Uh, Miguel Cabrera, Decades Best, absolutely triple crown winner. Josh Donaldson, the Rainmaker. Nick Castellanos. I really like Castellanos, especially when he was young on the Tigers. I really had high hopes for him. I'm glad he's starting to come out as a good player. There's Tsutsugo. There's a Clark Schmidt. And we're back on the base cards. Mike Trout. Can never go wrong with a Mike Trout. Javier Baez. Cal Ripken. Ken Griffey. Love Ken Griffey. And also love Mike Trout. More Mike Trouts. Thank you very much. We will take it. Yeah, definitely good. Oh, goodness. Just spilled all of the base cards over here. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of base cards, which is all right. The set is 300 cards. I'm looking to complete it. Maybe one or two complete sets of this. That'd be nice. I am primarily a set collector when it comes to the hobby. But uh, finding big hits is always a plus. I always like the commons and the collecting full base cards and insert sets. 
All right, we got our fourth hanger box here, which means after this one, we will be halfway done. So this is looking to be a pretty hefty, long video. So kudos to you all who actually stay and uh, grind it out with me in these, these hanger packs. And here we go with our fourth one. Brendan McKay, rookie debut, not too bad. Oh boy, I hate when they're flipped over. That's one of my biggest pet peeves as a collector. Opening up a pack and having the cards flipped all over the place. Mark McGuire, Grenke. And here we go. Looks like we got a gold card here. So according to the odds, I think it was one in four for a gold card. Just take a real quick look. Yes, one in four for a gold. So we're supposed to get at least two in today's break. That would be one of them right there. Nice gold card. 20 years of the captain, Derek Jeter. That's a cool insert. Dave Winfield. We got McCutcheon, Pence. Clevenger, who's on the Padres now, Turner, got Cabrian Hayes, that's not a bad one, I have an auto of Cabrian Hayes somewhere in my collection, then we're back to the base cards, so this was the first hanger box that wasn't a huge hit out of it, we did get a gold card, which was nice, Nico Horner, rookie debut, not too bad, I'll set that aside, why not, um, all these cards should be in really good condition for the most part, and nothing in here. So I decided to buy a case of this stuff because I think hangers over any other type of uh, retail distribution. First off, I think it's the best cost per card. I think I stated that already. But it's also the best way to protect the cards because it's in a nice sturdy cardboard box. Uh, they can't be searched or tampered with. Can't really pack search the hangers, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Unless they're already hung up in the store. But this was a sealed case. So... The cards probably weren't tampered with, they weren't pack searched, and good bang for your buck, lots of different cards to be looking at, and a good chance to get something good out of it, which is why I like these hangers a lot. We'll keep going here, it's our fifth one I believe, so we're past the halfway mark, we're really grinding out these boxes. Gavin Lux, rookie debut, and nothing too crazy, I'm seeing lots of duplicate base cards, which is... Good thing for me. And it looks like the inserts are coming up next, so put those over there. Let's see what we get for our inserts. Got a Billy Hamilton rainbow foil. Again, cannot overstate this. They look incredible. <laughs> those those really do look insane. Uh, Ernie Banks, I love that insert set. Great looking insert set. Pete Alonso for the 85. Yamaguchi, Mookie Betts, Larry Walker, Corey Kluber, Andres Jimenez. And we're back to the base. So nothing too crazy from those inserts. We did get a, uh, was it a gold? Or no, it was, a, it was a foil. That's what it was. That's what it was. See if we can get any more of the key rookies. We haven't seen a key rookie in a minute. And I say that, we get a Boba Shet. Awesome. And I got to sleeve up those cards over there now that I think of it. And okay, nothing to finish out that. We'll sleeve up this bow. I'll sleeve up that Lux over there. All these cards you're going to be seeing in the recap for the highlights, of course. So at any moment, you just want to flip over there. It's cool with me. It is a long video, so I don't blame you. Awesome. Well, just knocked over all the inserts there, of course. It'd be fun to complete that turkey red set. That Those turkey reds are pretty, pretty cool. All right. This is our sixth box. Six boxes, and we're really doing pretty good on time now that I think of it. I just looked at the clock there. We're not doing too bad for this break thus far. Hopefully the recap doesn't take too long. Well, actually, I hope it does take long, because that means we got a lot of good cards. Right, Brennan McKay, Yelich, Aaron Judge, Cal Ripken, Rizzo... Um, well, there's another Mark McGuire, and we got inserts coming up. All right, see what we get in this one. Got a Ty Butry. Just so, come on, like, look at that. You can't deny those look um, incredible. Like, you just love to see those. I'd love to get a really good, uh, good name on that. Sandy Koufax, that's pretty cool. Willie McCovey, also really cool. Wade Boggs, Mike Mussina, 
Um, Lewis Brinson, that was, I couldn't think of his name. Luis Garcia. Back to the base we go. There's Nick Solak there. Nico Horner. There's Jeffrey. Pronounced Jeffrey, not Jeffrey. People make that mistake, but it is Jeffrey. And he was injured last year, I believe. Really good pitcher. Excited to see him come back and uh, finally get on the mound for some time. All right, this is our seventh hanger box now. We've got quite the mess going on on the screen here. Lots to organize at the end. So we'll just clean things up for you guys. See what we get. Okay, there we go. We've got Christian Arroyo. i got to be honest, I watched every single Cleveland Indians game this year. I don't remember Christian Arroyo ever playing, but there we go. Trent Grisham. Love to see it. I'm going to sleeve up Trent Grisham rookie real quick. So I think his stock is going to go up in the future pretty fast. And we'll see what we get in here. Anything else? Any key rookies? Jesus Lizardo. Kyle Lewis. Love to see it. Awesome stuff. Only gotten one Randy. I was hoping to get a little bit, a little few more of those Randys. And we're on to the Turkey Reds for the inserts in general. Leading it off with the Castellanos Chrome. Good stuff there. Love the Chromes. Let's see about this Kyle Lewis real quick too. All right. And we got a gold here. Kevin Ginkle, Arizona pitcher. It's a rookie. Pretty cool, but it is a pitcher. And pitchers usually don't sell well unless they're absolute studs. So we've got Derek Jeter, Shogo Akiyama. There's Gavin Lux, pretty awesome. Carlton Fisk, Thurman Munson, Sixto Sanchez. And uh, back on the base here, Mike Trout. Haven't seen a Trout in a while now that I think of it. Your Baez, Cal Ripken, Ken Griffey. Mike Trout again. Mike Trout, we got three Trouts right there. Awesome. And nothing else in that. We're down to our last hanger box. If you've stuck with me thus far, you are a real one. And I love you. I really do. So thank you so much for sticking with me. This is our last hanger box, by the way. Awesome stuff. I'm quite enjoying this break. Awesome names that we're seeing. Pretty cool inserts. Let's see if we can hit something big in this last one. Maybe a... Uh, Maybe a platinum, one of one, Randy. Maybe an auto. I know autos are super tough to pull for the hanger boxes. Uh, maybe a hit. Who knows? Doesn't look like we have a hit in there, but do have a chance at something good. What do we say we spice things up for this last one? We'll uh, cut the stack here. We'll go through the base first. Altuve. I do like those throwback uniforms. Not a fan of Altuve, but I like the throwbacks that they're doing. Um, Pete Alonzo. Oh, i got to flip the cards. Absolutely hate that. There's Plutko. Kershaw. Joe Kelly. There's uh, Tsutsugo. Rookie there. And Drew Pomeran, Giancarlo. There's Aristides Aquino. Let's put that aside. No key rookies coming out of this. Mike Trout, though. Take the Trout. Chris Sale. Buster Posey. Giancarlo. Ken Griffey. Glaber. Okay, looks like we're coming on the inserts now. And I saw a gold, which is awesome. So let's see what we get here. The gold is going to be Bryce Wilson for the Atlanta Braves. Awesome. Numbered out of 2020, of course. I don't think I mentioned that before. But I love gold cards. Got Doc Gooden, Decades Best. Absolutely insane pitcher in his prime. Javier Baez. Lou Bob finally made an appearance. I was wondering where he was today. Lou Bob Turkey Red. Awesome stuff. So we've got a Smoltzy, Eddie Murray, Byron Buxton, Bobby Dalbeck. And then a few more base to end it out with a Jordan Alvarez. There he is. Rookie debut, Jordan Alvarez. Awesome stuff. Well, I'm going to get things ready, cleaned up here, and uh, we'll do a quick recap for you guys. 
Alrighty guys, I just spent the last 40 minutes flipping through hundreds of 2020 Tops update cards. And if you're just joining us and you decided to skip ahead to the recap, we fared out pretty well. We did pretty well with the stuff. Uh, I'll show you guys all the cards that we got today. As you can see in the back, lined up before you are all the base common cards I'm going to be putting together to build a few sets, hopefully. Uh, here are just all the common inserts, nothing too crazy. We did pretty well with all the turkey red cards. But uh, now we're going to get into the bigger cards, which is what you're probably all interested in. We're going to start things off, and we're going to move, move things up to uh, the bigger cards as we go. So I decided to put all these Mike Trouts in, uh, in top loaders here just because it's Mike Trout and one of the best baseball players of our generation. Moving on, though, I'll go to the rookie base cards. We got a lot of good rookie base cards. I think we got all the key rookies. But as you can see here, we got uh, two Bo Bichette rookie debuts. Pretty awesome. Got two Kyle Lewis rookie debuts. Two Trent, two Trent Grishams. Uh, I got a Devin Williams rookie. So that's a new one for my collection. Love to see it. Uh, really happy to get the Devin Williams. Also really happy to get this Randy Arizarena rookie. Pretty awesome stuff there. And we got uh, two Gavin Lux rookie debuts and then a Jordan Alvarez rookie debut. So we got all the key rookies, which is what we were trying to do in today's break. Uh, moving on to the inserts, the regular inserts here. So I decided to put this Derek Jeter. These, this is a really cool Derek Jeter set. I like that. So I put those in there. Sandy Koufax, Decades Best. Uh, we got two Turkey Red Chrome cards, which is pretty awesome. Craig Biggio, Nick Castellanos. We got a Joey Bart. So I decided to put the Joey Bart and the Kristen Pache in there. Awesome, awesome stuff. Got a nice Gavin Lux. Okay, we did really well at the Turkey Reds. I was looking through this. We got the top three Turkey Red rookie cards. Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, and then Luis Robert, which is pretty awesome. I really like that Luis Robert. Really glad he could make an appearance in today's video. Now we're going to move on to the serial numbered cards, which you guys saw. We pulled a really nice serial numbered card in that first box. So we got uh, a couple gold cards here. Bryce Wilson, Kevin Ginkle, and then Josh Fegley. Haven't heard of any of those guys, but they are gold cards, so pretty cool. And check this one out, a Father's Day Powder Blue Parallel. These are numbered out of 50. Jairo Diaz, it's a pitcher for Colorado. Haven't heard of the guy, but it's numbered out of 50. Pretty sweet. Got a nice Powder Blue. Awesome, awesome stuff. Lastly, one more card to showcase for you guys. I didn't realize it was that big when I pulled it, but we pulled a really nice short print of Derek Jeter. Decided to put it into a one-touch. This is a short print. This is the, yeah, just a base short print. It's not a super short print. It's not a super, 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 super short print like they have listed. Crazy stuff they have there. But this is just a regular short print we saw in the code back there. I'm really glad I recognized this right away before I skipped over it. Just thought it was another Derek Jeter base card. Kind of looks like it considering this year's checklist, but... That right there is a Derek Jeter short print. So pretty awesome stuff. And uh, it looks like it was online. It was listed for a little bit of money. So I decided to put it into a one-touch. Fun stuff. And thank you all for joining me. If you guys stuck through the entire video, props to you. And if you guys decided to skip to the end, props to you. Because you're joining me in this awesome break. And thank you so much for joining me, all of you. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more of these wax breaks to come. And I will see you guys next time.